Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. It's really Friday. I normally don't wait until Friday to do my Friday video, but I've been crazy busy this week because my daughter Brooke, who was 23, had her wisdom teeth taken out. So long story, but we had a consult Monday and we had the surgery done Tuesday morning. So that has kind of consumed not just my time, but you know how it is as a mom. It has like knocked me for a loop. And I have so much stuff coming in the mail, like even today that I haven't gotten. And then I did a big Sephora haul, separate video that you guys will probably see next week. First thing I wanted to talk about is this fragrance. And it is the Vacation Scent of the World Famous Vacation Sunscreen Company. I have purchased this twice now. The first time I purchased it and I thought the same thing, but so many people were asking me about it and so many people were sending me the info on it and asking me if I had tried it that I wanted to just let you know before you get it because it is like fabulous smelling. I mean, it is just so good. If you are a Southern beach girl like I am, it's banana boat. That's what it smells like more than Hawaiian Tropic. And I love that scent. I remember with me, it was banana boat. It was Hawaiian Tropic, but Band of Soleil. Do you remember that oil with no sunscreen in it? And it was like that rosy tinted color and it was so thick. I think there was even a version of it that came in a tube. It was almost solid, like a solid gel, but that one I really liked. But this, I'm gonna go ahead and do it up. The banana is the best part of this. This really smells good, but it does not last, which is the case with a lot of your summer beachy fragrances because the base notes just aren't heavy and strong enough to last. If I had to suggest the best lasting, it would be the Joe Malone, I think. I will put it up here and down below in the links. Hibiscus Palm, I think that's the one. That one I thought really lasted. And then we'll get into that later. But I was looking at what I wanted to put on today and I thought I'm going to take this opportunity to tell them about this. Okay, this is one of the palettes that I showed you, I believe, last week. It is the Buxom, Buxom Babe, and it's the Straight Up Eye and Cheek Palette. It is so pretty. It's what I have on today. So it's not gonna be for you if you like a really dark crease or you like more of a, you know, just really made up look. I know when I had really hooded lids, I almost had to use a really dark crease color in order to recess that. And I do think you could use this, but I think if you have hooded lids, it might be too light for you. The pigment in these is amazing. Not a lot of dust up and the cheek color, I just think is so pretty. And I just think it's really, really nice. Okay, the next thing I want to tell you is a don't buy. You probably wouldn't because it's not real thrilling, but this is an older OPI color that I remember from way back when, probably in my, I would say late 20s and I grabbed it. It's the color Passion. It's what I have on my nails now. So not only is it boring, but now I remember it's actually a color to go with a French manicure. And another thing I wanted to mention, I noticed when I did that Sephora video, I got tanner in my nails. And the night that I did that, I had used the Jergens. So be careful. I haven't noticed that as much with the Tan Lux. So be careful and really wash your fingernails because now it looks like I've been eating Cheetos and then doing a video. <laughs> I promise you I haven't been eating Cheetos. So just pass on this one if you see it. Okay, and then, this week from Laura Mercier, I did get the new Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer, Luminous Natural Finish, and I have tried two colors now and have a pretty good understanding of what it is. What I would say is, after trying it twice, this is more for those of you, and there are a lot of you out there that would really love this, your tinted moisturizer women, your women that don't need a lot of coverage, you want natural dewy skin, you love the Jones Road Beauty, you don't have oily skin, and you want something to add color and bronzing and sculpting, these are gonna be perfect for you. So I have tried, goodness, it looks like I left the one that I used down there, but the one I used today was number two and it was Sun Drop. And I have something on over it because it wasn't quite enough. The first day I used it, I used the darkest one, which I think would be the one that I would like, and it's called Sunstone. I will swatch Sunstone 
for you. You just need a little bit. I do not recommend dotting it and then trying to blend it out. That did not go well for me. What I recommend, and after I read the directions, this is what they recommend, is to kind of blend it out, tap it into your skin wherever you want the color. Say you're putting on your tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, and it leaves you with, you know, just like that flat, too solid of a look with no dimension. I think this would be good for those days. And I do think it would be great for dry skin. For oily skin, I think you're gonna have to use it over your typical foundation that lasts on you and you just have to be careful and use it like this that's how I did it today and if I had used the darkest color it would have been enough but I just will say it's very emollient not oily but I think it is perfection for those of you that like a really natural look and you're just looking for something to add that little bit of life to your face I think you'll love it okay so two things I want to go ahead and show you this is a Zara tank that I just ordered on a whim. Didn't realize how fabulous it was going to be. I just really like this type of neckline, especially under a blazer, moto jacket, anything like that, because it just gives that little bit of interest and I think it's flattering. I had no idea it was going to be almost like a bra. It is extremely supportive and I just love it. I wore it the day that Brooke had her surgery and I wore it with, I had some Soma pants that I really liked a lot. And then this blazer, I wanted to go ahead and put it on today. This is the linen blazer from Zara. I will put my last Zara haul try on up here because I think that's when I got this. You guys, this is so good. I really wanted to wear that exact outfit today. I loved it so much, but I did a little bit different on the pants, but I love this. And I did get the small because on the website they say it's oversized and I'm so glad I did. So see how you can see just a little bit of that underneath this blazer. And I'll go ahead and stand up and show you what I have on. I don't have on any shoes yet because I'm gonna show them to you. But I have on just my linen gap trousers, but like these pants and this blazer along with just this tank top, which it won't always be open, but that's the point. It's just like the little glimpses of things like this that you get. And I thought some of you might want to try it. Okay, so in my goodie basket here, I had Clarins send me some of their lip oils. I have to say, you guys know I went on an extensive lip oil escapade because I love them. And really there weren't many that I didn't like, but if I had to tell you two lip oils to get that I went back to over and over, I love the consistency, I love the colors, and I would just recommend it would be Dior and Clarins all the way. This is the Clarins Lip Oil, TikTok's favorite lip oil. And the colors they sent me are Honey, Pattaya. This one has always been my fave. So this would be the one I would recommend. And then this one is Cherry. This one definitely has the most color. Pattaya is just such a good one with uh, Dior Jungle, I think. That was just such a good combo last summer. So don't think about these as putting them over a lipstick unless you want to, I'm sure that would be fine. But what I like to do is put on a good lip liner like KVD Lolita or one that will mix with this somewhat but not go away. These are just so good. My mom really loves these too. So if you are not into sticky, but you are like conditioning, I think you would love these. Okay, sunglasses. I gave it another go because I love finding inexpensive sunglasses on Amazon that are fabulous, like the other ones that I have, and I will link those down below. So I tried these and I struck out only because of my nose. When you have a little skinny nose, things sit down further on your face. It will leave a full mark on my cheek. So I can't wear these, but they were inexpensive and I figured I would probably give them to someone that they would look fabulous on. But for most of you, you would be able to wear these. And this is the first one. 
wow, these are polarized because I can't see the screen. So these are your light brown with like a smoky blue lens. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then these I was most excited about and I was hoping that Brooke would be able to use these, but she didn't like them. She's already, that girl bounced right back. She was over here yesterday doing some things for me. She's still a little sore, but they just put her on like a high dose of ibuprofen and she's been great. It, I think it hurt for her to laugh or anything like that, but still. But anyway, these are the ones that I really loved. I think that that pea green is just so cool looking. It's so different and I love them. And you guys know I love these sunglasses to do that with. Minor strikeout, but maybe not for you. And I think that they're really, really good looking. Here is the other Laura Mercier. Yeah, this one is Sundrop. And it's a little bit too light. So if you're my coloring, get the 05 Sunstone. If you are probably one shade down from me, get the 02 Sundrop. Okay, two things I have been loving this week. And I had to tell you, one is this bronzer from Kiko. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is so good. Not a lot of dust up. Very easy to use. It's what I have on today. And I love this in the crease. The video I did at home, beauty maintenance routine, this is all I had on like not any other shadow, nothing. So I had this on for bronzer and I had it on in my crease. It is just fabulous. It is just like perfection. It just is smooth, it is so good. Like if this was Hermes, I would believe it. You know what I mean? It's just that good. Then another surprise product, and one of you sent me a picture of this and said that you really loved it, and that is this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder, SPF 16. So what this is gonna be good for is those of you like me that have oily skin and to wear sunscreen underneath makeup is quite a challenge you can put this over your makeup and have that extra SPF. It's really good for the beach and the pool. But not only that, it has like a, a little bit of coverage. I mean, it's no Laura Mercier. It might be just as good as anything else I've tried. And it has that cool little container that you just put your brush down in. I might just try to order the next color up. I think I ordered it from Amazon or Walmart. The color I have is Creamy Natural. So this is so worth a try. If you are one of those women that just wear a tinted moisturizer, to set it with this would be good because it's glowy. Okay, let's do another favorite, which is this Buxom Lip Liner in Savvy Sienna. Love this. It's probably my favorite one out of that whole bunch the one that I got in PR. But it is so smooth and I love the color. I love it, I love it. Now, is it supposed to be plumping, power line, plumping lip liner? I don't feel anything and if it did not say that, I wouldn't know that it was supposed to be a plumping lip liner. If anything, it might give the illusion of plumping because it's wider and it's so smooth. I can see that definitely. It's awesome and it's just such a good color. And I don't know if it was limited edition, but I will list it down below. Okay, a foundation that I picked up this week is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Santa Fe. My friend Kelly from Mommy's and Moscato, <laughs> I always get their channel mixed up, the name of it. She also uses the Dior Forever in 2.5 neutral like I do and she was saying how much she loved this foundation and so I asked her what shade and I went and got it and I'm wearing it today so I was just going to ask you guys what you think because I think it's really pretty. Don't know if I would have chose this shade because on first glance I didn't know if it was going to be neutral enough for me but as you can see it blends right out. I think it does have like a slight bit of peachiness to it so I don't know if it would have been the one I would have chosen. I love Stromboli, but that is my deepest summer shade. Ooh, these two might be good mixed together. So let me know if you wear this, and if you are my shade sister, if you wear another shade other than this one. So today I have on a new gloss, and I got a package from Freeze Co. Beauty. That is the website that I get the heel cream from, and I needed to order my mom. Let me go ahead and show it to you. This is the Sunita's Foot Repair. I mean, like, amazing, which... I will link my original video about this up here. 
It is just the best. And so my mom needed some. And then I got the Sunita's Brightening Hand Cream because I am a sucker for a good hand cream. And then I got this gloss. It's called B. It's similar to the Night Serum that I have used for so many years. It's perfect if you want to dabble in the light nude colors, but you don't want anything too stark. See how pretty it is? It's kind of a fleshy nude color, but it still has all the conditioners in it. It's very, very velvety. The only thing I've ever had that had this texture was the Sarah Hap. She used to have some glosses way back years and years ago that felt velvety like this, but it's a really unique texture and a lot of good, it's, you know, like a skincare brand. So a lot of good things in it for your lips. And then this is something new. They had the Cloud Collagen Lipstick Balm. And the color I got is Calla. I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of like Calla Lily. You gonna sit with me? You gonna sit with me? <laughs> I know, you're a sweet girl. Okay, and what this is, it's got collagen in it. It's kind of like a lipstick balm stain. That is really pretty. It's prettier than it even looked. So it gives you good color. Wow, I love that. Those two together <laughs> make a good lip. You need the Savvy Sienna to go with it. So this will be something, I think this is gonna be good for beach days, pool days, that I want something conditioning that will last on my lips and then I usually put a sunscreen balm over it. So a lot of times I like, I made the mistake one time you guys, putting just gloss on my lips and I mean, I got them fried. They were like this big. I've had that happen a handful of times in my life and it is not good because they swell up so big and then they crack. It's terrible. So I'm really pretty diligent about the sunscreen on my lips, but I like to have a stain or a good base down and then I put the sunscreen chapstick over that. Then two other things I got from Frisco is the Ultralight Emulsion. This is a tinted sunscreen also, but it's water resistant for 40 minutes, 100% mineral sunscreen. And this is supposed to be a long lasting one, like not too thick, good for skin like mine. Yeah, it's one of the thin ones. Let's see what the consistency is like. Okay, you remember when I used to love that Shiseido? I can smell that stuff right now. It had a really distinct smell, but this doesn't. Okay, so it's not like super tinted, but I think that's pretty. It definitely gives you a good glow. Let me put some more out so you can see the actual color. Okay, now let me blend that out. We have a Basset hound that lives behind us. And we have a golden doodle, a basset hound, a dachshund. I think they're, it's their daughter's dachshund that's just there sometimes. And it's so cute because he has to wear this donut around his neck. And I just assumed he had had some kind of surgery or something, but it's so he can't fit through the gate. So funny. And then we have Marnie which is a golden, she's actually like a white lab and she's only about a year old. So they have a good, oh, it dries down dry. Oh my goodness, you guys. This may really be something here because you know that's what we liked so much about the Rachel K. If you've been here with me that long, that was a CC cream that I used to love to layer mineral powder over it because it was just a little extra coverage, the sunscreen and wow. Look how pretty that is. I cannot believe that. That is going to be so good. You could even layer your makeup over this. That's something to be happy about. And then I got another thing, along with hand creams, I have gotten into eye creams. And remember like about, I would say five or six months ago, I noticed in my videos, my wrinkles under my eyes were just like off the chain. They were just out of control. And I wasn't using an eye cream because like I was talking about in my home maintenance routine, I'm kind of like, if it doesn't fix it, I'm not gonna use it. And I was kind of hooked on, well, they don't really do anything, but if nothing else, eye creams do help you temporarily, meaning that day. So why not do it? And that's what I've been doing is really been diligent with my eye creams. 
And this is supposed to be a really good one. And it's the Air MD Regenerative Eye Complex. Ooh, it comes in a pump. I love that. And I just got this yesterday, so I haven't used it. I put it, you know, down here first, and then I put it all around. And it will creep down, you know, on your eyelid just enough. You don't want to put it like on your eyelid. And I have really noticed a big difference. So yeah, into eye creams lately all of a sudden. Okay, shoes. Two pair of shoes that couldn't be any more different, but equally fabulous. I have a friend that is just in the know of all of the cool girl fashion. She follows a lot of the big bloggers that are like our age and really famous, you know, have a lot of followers. And she told me about these sneakers and it is the Adidas Samba and it's this particular color although all of the colors are really in style But this is the one that she has and so I wanted to get what she loved and I didn't think anything of it I mean, of course, I like the way they look because they're not bulky at all They're probably my least bulky pair of tennis shoes that I have so I remember these and you probably do too when I was in junior high so that was seventh eighth and ninth grade and my boyfriend wore these. He wore the black ones and it was real popular for guys to wear these with shorts and just t-shirts, you know, surfing t-shirts or whatever. So I already had kind of like a positive thing in my mind. Well, I set out to get a pair at Dick's. I went to Foot Locker. I went to Rack Room and I could not find them. They're a little bit hard to find. I will list the place that I used down below. I think I used Farfetch and got these. They are really good at weird things that you're looking for, things that are sold out, the sitting sponsored. I wish Farfetch, please sponsor me. <laughs> that will mean that I have made it. They do find like different things. They got here like in two days. So anyway, loving these. I wore them the day that Brooke got her surgery done and I loved my outfit all day long. I didn't have any eye makeup on, which is kind of like a different vibe. I thought about doing that today, but I didn't want to regret it. But one day I'll do a tutorial on my makeup when I know I'm not going to wear eye makeup. And I just loved them. Okay, comfort. I can't express to you how comfortable these are. I have never had a pair of tennis shoes that fit like this. I mean, I was thinking the whole day I'm getting rid of my Vans because they serve the same purpose to me as a pair of Vans, but I hate the way Vans are so flat and rigid because I'm a flat-footed walker anyway, and it's awkward. And I really try to pay attention to how shoes make me walk because I think that's part of your look. And these they're just amazing. No socks. You do have to get the men's size and the size I got for a women's size eight is a US seven. So I think that's a men's seven and a UK six and a half, but I love them. And I think they're going to be so great with trousers, with sweatpants. A lot of you like those little Lululemon dresses, athletic dresses just so cool. Okay, these are out there, and a lot of you may not like them, but that's okay. I probably would have never ordered them, but I kept seeing them, not even on a person, but like I guess I would see them on Instagram, and then I would see them on the website, and then I would see them in my email, and the last time I saw them, I'm like, I am getting these, and I'm going to wear them one day because they are absolutely beautiful. It's this pair of Vince Camuto, so they were not crazy expensive, and they come in many, many colors. Colors, but there was something about this color. Every time I saw it, I just love it. Look how it's kind of, I guess, iridescent, but it reminds me of, and I'm not going to be able to remember the name. I know that Sarah Jessica Parker, this designer I'm trying to think of, and I've had one pair, but it's like a UK brand, and it reminds me of those shoes. But anyway, Carrie, and I think the, le not the last Sex in the City movie, but the last season of Just Like That, I think she wore a pair of the heels, but aren't they just gorgeous? So I got them. I don't know when I'm going to wear them, but platforms are part of the shoe trends. And I promise that video is coming up. I have some shoes from a special brand that I wanted to feature and they should be on the way. They were, they told me they were coming from Spain. So hopefully we'll be able to do that soon, but aren't they just gorgeous? I love them. Okay, here it is. I had to look it up. It's Terry de Havilland. That is the brand. And she's just like known for all these funky platform 
heels that are very, very 70s, 60s, that whole vibe. What is the movie? Of course, it's leaving me right now. If I could think of it, I'll put it up here, but I just love them. And I think, I think you would too, if you like stuff like this. For accessories today, I have on the Jenny Bird balloon hoops. I really like these. I love the back of her earrings are this like ball. They're really cool. It's just like an added detail. I think that makes a big difference. If you had short hair, that would really look, you know, it would add something, a detail that people would actually see. But I like them because they're easy to put on too. They just slide right on. And then I've got on the chain that goes with it, which I think is a really cool chain. The Ideal Diamond Necklace my castle ring in onyx and that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you have a blessed fabulous easter weekend with your family and i will see you probably this weekend I, you know i have my gap cash i need to go spend so i'll probably see you once this weekend and i might skip monday for the easter vacation and then i'll be back on wednesday see you then bye bye